But a lot of it has to do with the colorist theory that I've been working with with Constantine Cherkis over the last 15 years. And, and I'm studying his paintings. And actually, he held the model for this in cardboard when I first came up with it at his home in Hollywood. He passed away last year. And he says, how did you come up with this? And I told, I told him all my influences. I told him Kazmir Malyevich. I told him yeah, told, we talked well, more about Russian constructivism. And then I said, Constantine and you, your color palette. You know, and they're understanding your relationships with colors. And it's not only oppositional colors or contrasting colors or analogous colors, but it's the tint and the hues and, and how tinting and hueing can create another dimension. So I called him the sculptor's painter to me. You know, but then I knew another sculptor back in the 80s, Ann Truitt, out of Maryland, and she was the, uh, a sculptor who uh, used these pastel colors and uh, just would take wood forms, just rectangular, long columns in different compositions. You could Google her, and uh, you'll see these subtle transi color transitions. And we communicated and talked together. Actually, when I was running a workshop in the state pen, she came out there with the director of the Sheldon Art Museum and gave a talk to the art club that I was sponsoring. In the prison? At the prison at the time. And it was just, and she was at the university as a guest and I invited them out and they came out and I'll never forget her talking to these guys, you know, about trying to break down uh, the reality of, of prison and, and, and talking about the generality of we can all create our own form a prison in our head, you know, and as long as you have access to art, you can make yourself free, you know, and it was just this really eloquent talk, but she was, uh, did never like the term minimalist, and she got dubbed as a minimalist, and so we talk about pop culture and the transcendence of what's happened since then over the 60s, 70s, and 80s, and into the uh, uh, post-modern world and that she hated being called a minimalist because you know, and I say well maybe you're really a modernist you know and, and but she just loved this color and so what she would do is she would take uh, gesso on these and she would sand the gesso down and prime it and sand it and prime it and I'm working on this marine plywood and I'm filling it and I'm sanding it and I'm priming it and I'm thinking of Anne every time I'm putting another coat on here and I'm sanding and priming and so uh, a lot of this is really a lot of honor, you know, and, and paying tribute to people who have passed on that have been influences in, in what I do. And so getting back to the color, you know, it all comes full circle. And one of the things I tried to do, like in my earlier public art, was very non-objective. And I started getting more and more into the figure. And so this is my way of addressing the figure in a constructivist format. Um, and, and then coming up with this, you know, this modular system really could be expanded. It could be expanded and lengthened and it could be broken up, it can be grouped, it can be uh, rearranged into different compositions. And one of my first thoughts was, oh, this would be a great border fence. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? I was just thinking that. <laughs> you know, and, and, uh, and that was an idea that ran through my head. But then the whole uh, concept of uh, aspirations to transpersonal psychology and being in the work that I do and being associated with the Winston School and the work that we do and, and understanding how people relate to other people and it's about that relationship and how different colors can be different frequencies it's not about race it's about emotion you know it's uh, uh, just a statement on how we commingle you know. and on the other side is even more stark contrasting there's a red there's uh, you know against the green so I wanted to have that striking there's uh, a lot of harmonious forms where some form are stepping forward some forms are receding uh, one opposing negative form will complete the figure you know in relation to the positive form like on this side which way does it go down? and what it does is uh, the red side out Okay, it's big to me. <laughs> yeah, go on. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, hold on to it. Get in there. 
and blow out the sawdust from the foot inside the seat on this side. Can you just, just, yeah, just try to get that out of there. And in the corner. Should have brought a leaf blower. Yeah. Thank you. Very good. Yeah. <laughs>